Now we're moving to step 15, which is to change colors and apply that, that color 12 to the bar chart. So let's get started. So we're going to come over here to change colors and we're asked to, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to click on the chart, change colors and go to color 12. That's color two. Ooh, color three, color four, color four, we're on color four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12 and you can see how when I hover my mouse over a row of color selections it gives a little reminder of what that is and we're going to save for step 15. Step 16 apply the default gradient fill in the plot area of the bar chart. So we're over here we've clicked on the whole chart and we're going to come over here to our fill bucket and we're going down to gradient fill and it doesn't tell us which color um, to select or to predetermine so I'm assuming it wants us to stay with those same colors and that is step 16 I'm going to save again step 17 apply landscape orientation for the data worksheet. So don't forget, right now we're in the bar chart worksheet, which is totally fine. I'm gonna just save, and then I'm gonna come over here and click the data worksheet, all right? So make sure you're in the correct worksheet, and I'm gonna go to page layout, and then I'm going to go to orientation, which is on the page setup panel, and I'm going to click landscape, which is going to turn your page. So instead of up and down, your page will be long ways and that's step 17. Step 18 apply horizontal and vertical center on page options for the data worksheets. So we're still on the data worksheet and if you come up here to print area and the page layout and the page setup um, you can take print setup area or you can go to the file menu and go to print and um, then you can choose, we already have landscape. So we can come to page setup down here at the bottom, double click that, and then that's going to bring you to margins. You can also get there in the page setup for margins. We want to center on the page for horizontal and we want to center on the page for vertical. Look here it says horizontally. Vertically in our instructions say apply horizontal and vertical center on the page. And you can see when it was off earlier it's kind of giving you a preview in this dialog box. It shows that it put the graph of the data up in the top corner. By us clicking it here it puts it in the middle of the page horizontally and by clicking vertically, it puts it in the middle of the page vertically as well. And we click OK. And that's horizontally and vertically centered our data on one sheet of paper. I like to go back and then go ahead and hit my size button. You can also do that through margins. Step 19, ensure that the worksheets are correctly named. We have a bar chart worksheet and we have a data worksheet, both correctly named. And in the following order, bar chart first, which is our first tab, and data worksheet second. Save the workbook, close the workbook, and then submit the workbook as directed. That would be to my IT lab for grading. Thank you. Way to go, team. All right, team, I uploaded mine, and that grade will work. A's and B's get degrees. Now you tell me how you did.